also got Terry because they're both trying to they're both trying to play the character apparently. Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. Get some more. Get some. Get some more. Little Mac. Ooh, baby. That uh, that knight ended up extending that dash attack super far. Actually, I don't recall seeing the Mars play code before. Yeah, and it's a different Mars. It's a very unfortunate name. No, I, I know, I, I know which Mars this is. Though. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. I just wanted to make yeah. sure. No, that's I clear know. for literally everybody. It's not that Mars. No, no, I know. Of course, I know this Mars. I, I see him at Waypoint all the time. Oh, really? Okay. Oh yeah. my goodness. Zelda Air Smash. It's coming in clutch. I wonder if if game two this would actually it would actually go to Little Mac. Actually no, not against Zelda. That would be a bad idea. Little Mac, come on. Yeah, because he well he plays Little Mac, he also plays uh Mark as well. Mark would but, probably be the uh would probably be the recommendation if you're not able to get well with Terry. Um Martha would probably be the recommendation, despite the fact that people are like, yeah, this is worse than seeing now. Good open that's gonna jab jab power dunk kill. Mm -hmm. Taking that stock. So one of the big things that uh that forward smash has to do here is that he has to try his best to um to avoid dying below hundred percent. And that back throw is gonna be it. No chance to use go. Uh the comeback mm -hmm. mechanic is dead. Nope, not good. and not gonna get any other additional damage up like that, so this puts uh, Mars at a pretty bad deficit. I mean, one of the things yeah. that uh, that Terry really has uh, is the ability to confirm off of jabs, but that still requires him to kind of get in. Uh, forward smash, honestly, like allowing uh, Mars much better chances to come in and uh, get hits. Mm -hmm. Oh my back goodness! Air. Hmm, I, I like I like how he connected with that back air. Yeah, no, it was a good raw back air. Alright, well, we see Mars is hungry oh, for the kill, no. going for that F smash. That's Hold what he was waiting him. for, he was waiting for that landing. Yeah, just like that, uh, it's finally even. Uh, for the first time, Mars is not at a huge deficit. Oh, the oh, that was I like I like uh, that that uh <laughs> that was brave of Mars to just go right in for that with that phantom charge up. Oh no, but that ah, yeah, just alive. barely at the blast zone and coming in perfectly. Good recovery. Let me get yeah. a power geyser. No power geyser. Not yet. Oh, there it is. Oh, but, there it is. But <laughs> you're not correctly, not correctly are you okay? Time, Nope, you're not okay. No, he, he can't. He, he can't find it yet. Oh my goodness, he broke it with jab right before. Yo, he that was so Chad. That was such a Chad move. So something, uh, a weird interaction in this, uh, this matchup is that if he does power geyser on the night, it will actually be active for an absurdly long amount of time. Oh yeah. So if uh, <laughs> if if uh, forward smash is not aware of that, that could actually end up being. Like, and then, he'll, um, and then he'll get caught in the extended hitboxes of Power Geyser. Yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. Of course, Power Geyser can only hit once, so that only would really apply if, uh, if you... Oh my oh, goodness! Oh, but the uh, shield will take that for the game. This stuff is really tough. You know, Mars with a really good comeback. He's actually playing it really smart overall. Uh, he was playing, um, he was definitely playing from disadvantage the whole time and was able to actually break open uh, forward smash defense really well towards the end. Very nicely done. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he definitely, uh, definitely came out strong in the end. Alright, so I'm kind of interested. Um, forward smash was saying that he's learning Terry, or they're learning Terry, I'm not really sure. Um, so I'm kind of interested to see if uh, Forward Smash is going to make the change to Terry, or if they're going to stay Zelda. Or nope, they're going to Town and City, and they're both staying. Both staying, okay. Ready? Yeah, I'm just looking back at the replays of that nice recovery that Mars had earlier. Yeah, really good stuff with Mars.
Let's see how he's, if he can able to take this game off of uh, off of Ford's match. So let me really that you really have to be mindful of is that despite the fact that Knight actually does have the most range and the most damage at the highest charge level, uh, if a Zelda sees your approach, they're gonna usually let it rip. So you have to be very careful with how you approach them in those situations. Also, the fact that the knight is literally like a moving wall, like it's not um. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, four oh, smash that's... barely dodging that F smash. Man, he man, he got away with that. He got he got away with that win. <laughs> that hurtbox shift is nuts. All right, and Mars, uh, first time of the set, holding the lead. Very nice. And again, the Hurtbox shift on board smash, oh, kind of saving him some damage. Yeah, I was gonna break, gonna break up those dance up combos before he was able to get a uh, that burn knuckle out. Oh, yeah, no, Mars got a little me. greedy there. Oh my goodness, that back here was perfect. So good. Yeah, now Mars definitely really pulling his weight this time. Yep, so down okay. tilt uh, into burn knuckle is not guaranteed until much higher percentages on most characters. Yeah, I'd definitely say probably the harder it would be harder to connect it on Zelda being a lighter weight. Okay. With the extra damage. He's got him in the corner. Oh my goodness. Still alive. Can he make it back to keep that uh, comeback mechanic? Yes he does. Yep. He oh, he couldn't catch him with the power geyser. Jab jab, uh, Buster Wolf might be true on Zelda. I'm not 100% certain if they can confirm that. Uh, I can't, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't seen Mars go for it, so I'm gonna have to assume either he doesn't, uh, he's not sure if it is, and he doesn't want to really uh, lead. Oh man, I was about to say, watch, watch what you're doing, but watch what you're trying to hit him because that phantom's coming out there. Alright, now Mars is, uh, has a pretty sizable lead, but Ford Smash did a good job of getting in some damage. Unfortunately, he gave up his stage position by jumping off there. So now he's got to kind of figure out how to get back on safely. <laughs> and that's going to be death. Oh, Almost man. no way. She survived he that. And he did, he, he did the rapid, uh, <laughs> the rapid dash dance on him, too. What do you got to do a guy like that? I mean, like, she's, uh, one of Zelda's biggest weaknesses is the fact that she needs to be placing her hitboxes very carefully if she doesn't want to, uh, if she wants to get the, the killing hit. So that was just very much intentional on the part of uh, Mars where he's like, yeah, you're gonna, you can actually see the replay that, uh, that just went on. Yeah, uh, I just saw Mars it, you know. landed with a forward air, and that ended up, uh, getting Mars both back, ended up getting a forward smash back on ground level. And also got Mars the ability to just kind of run up and put a little bit of pressure on the jab and then get the kill. Mm -hmm. Oh, and killing at 61%, 80% at the end with a back air. Perfect back air. Uh, Terry's back air is stronger based on whether you're hitting with the tip of his shoe or if you're hitting with his uh, thigh. Uh, the tip mm -hmm. being the stronger part. And you know, you kind of deserve to get a kill from. Uh... Um, Terry's back here because it's not easy to hit. It's it's not that weird. It's not that weird. It's not that bad of a move. It covers actually a lot more space than you'd expect it to, really. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, like when you're Mac, trying to, though. When you're trying to go, oh, here we go. Here's the here's the Mars Mac. Oh my this goodness, he's like, yo, FD, Poggers. Yeah. Poggers, FD, he's like, here we go. Now I'm gonna rush you down big time. Uh, is he about uh, to punish this? him? Punish him. That's a ter. Uh, I don't want to say it was a terrible punish, but he could have just tried to have smash. Because it covers yeah. so much space. Yeah, I mean, just rack the damage on him, man. Back has got that power on the ground. God. Oh my god! <laughs> He's just pressing buttons! About? You see what I'm talking about? He's got that power on the ground. Little Mac is little, and that's something that uh, that Zelda kind of has a bit of difficulty with. So let me shield break. Uh, that, did, that, did, uh. that did a lot of shield damage, though, on Mars. Yeah. Like, yo! <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, that was a nice. He saw that Phantom coming, so just gonna roll behind her and catch her, catch her with that uh, with that KO punch. 
Or forward smash is regretting this counter pick now. Oh, without a doubt. So, he probably did. He probably didn't know that Mars had a Mac. I mean, I don't think. I'm assuming most people that have fought him wouldn't have known that, honestly. Oh, this is so unfortunate. This is this is so unfortunate for uh, <laughs> so smash. unfortunate yeah, for dude. forward smash <laughs> because he literally just. Oh no. Yeah, forward smash just thought that he was about to fight Terry again and said it's like, yo, yeah, little Mac. He did not see this coming. And home is advantage. That, this man's Mars. about to duff you. And with that, Mars is gonna take that three stock. <laughs> wow, man. Little Mac is so funny because it's like, if people who are fighting Little Mac know exactly what they're doing and they don't let him go to FD, uh, it can be such a competitive set or it can be a blowout in either direction. Yeah. Because <laughs> Little Mac is never like, he's never just like, it's almost never, it never feels like it's close to Little Mac. Because it's either like, yeah, uh, he's getting messed up super hard because the person he's fighting knows what he's doing and is getting him off stage and keeping him off. Or he's just taking advantage of the fact that like he has these ridiculous hitboxes that murder people super early. There's no middle oh, ground yeah. here. Yeah, there really, yeah, there actually is, there is no middle ground at all. I have not read about that. I mean... The thing is, if you, do, if you don't zone Mac out and you don't have him on stage, then you're not playing the matchup right. 